There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm saving these people from having to endure any more boredom. Instead, I'd like to give them something actually worth watching. Me beating you for the Intercontinental title. And unlike that terrible highlight video, I guarantee that won't take anywhere near 10 minutes. Are you insane? Or maybe you've just been inhaling so many fumes from your piece of trash van that you think you can interrupt my celebration and get a shot at my intercontinental title. What's the matter? You scared I'll beat you so bad that Ms. TV will be canceled before it makes it to episode 101? You know what? I think we got off on the wrong foot. You just got to Raw and we haven't been properly introduced. I'm Miz. Obviously. This is my beautiful wife, Maurice. And then there's the Miz Taraj, Curtis and Bo. Why don't you introduce yourselves to the new guy? Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz, who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. 
He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for, we want earplugs. You talk a good game, but can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I go one-on-one -on -one right here tonight? Sure thing, new guy. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve Splat, and welcome back to more WWE 2K19 My Career Mode. Uh, last time was. We gotta trade it to Raw. That's what happened. Since we're now here on Raw and not on SmackDown anymore. After. Oh, after we beat Cena, it's uh, SummerSlam that, yeah, quote-unquote, John Cena. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can tell already, um, this is a cutscene episode, cutscene-heavy episode. So, yeah, just be prepared to not have me uh, pop in every so often. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, let's see, what can I talk about? I don't really know. Besides, I finally did, at the time of recording this, I did finally, um... That power bomb though. Um, I'm gonna get all the titles and schedule dates and everything for every episode up to this point uh, so I think this should be going live in, uh, maybe mid-April so I think Justice 2 ends mid-March And then this begins in April. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could talk about something else, but I will do that once. Uh, once we get to the next point where I have to talk and not let the game just do its thing. So yeah. I'm surprised how much of a fight Elias put in this match. He did a lot, but uh, this match is gonna just wrap up here in a second, so I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Don't think I haven't noticed the impact you've made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot at his Intercontinental title. And speaking of looking out for you, if Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Wait, who says I'm not a good GM? I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with The Miz. I'm so sick of him and Maurice running their mouths. You'll be the first active superstar to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame if you can pull that off. So... One of the things, so something I tried to do, um, in between, like, before recording this, was, um, or after, I should say, um, was, I wanted, I did, okay, so I recorded a, uh, a video, even though it was kind of all over the place, of, um, me reacting to my first episode of WWE programming, um, and I did it, I had no problem with it, but however, one part of me recording was I just did a uh, screen capture on my iPad, and then I tried to get the video off my iPad, and then I did, and I tried to put it in to import. And it just says it wasn't working. I'm like, okay. Then I try to open it on my computer, and it's like, oh, yeah, the file's corrupted. I'm like, okay, fantastic. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm up for trying it again, but I don't... I, 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 I wanted everything to be genuine, so maybe this is, that'll be something just for me. Perhaps. I don't know. Um... Yeah, because I tried to record on my on my laptop, um, but my processor wasn't handling it, and just it was causing the network to lag and this that the other thing. So yeah, it was kind of a unfortunately wasted effort. But this is about to finish up, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you gonna do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but... You did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. 
All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in... Thanks, man, you're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Ugh. I can't believe what happened in your match with Bo Dallas. Somehow The Miz continues to find new ways to be the most annoying person on the planet. You're offering me a chance to make Miz and Maurice look like even bigger idiots? Yeah, I'm in. Oh, goody, I get to talk about the custom title that we get, or that we can make. Um, I'll just save the other thing for the end. So, for this title, I mean, because you can already um, decide what stipulation you always want to defend your title on, and I chose ladder matches. I forget what I did before um, on my first playthrough. I think I did no DQ or Extreme Rules, something like that. Um, so I kind of wanted it to be, um, like the stipulation, I want to be themed like the stipulation, so I was trying to go for like, uh, a ladder world championship kind of thing. Actually, no, just because I've recorded this, I haven't record. I, I'm doing the Pulse commentary way late. I'm trying to figure out what my process was here. Huh. <laughs> yeah, no, I had that idea, and then I'm like, I don't even know what I was trying to do here. Just trying to theme, like, getting, like, the top and the bottom nameplates for, uh, like this, from the same title, and I think it was from the WCW Tag Team titles. Yeah, here I tried to, um, build ladders, and I realized that's going to have a lot of images that's not gonna work so I think I went with more color coordination than anything else and I ended up coming up with um, uh, WWE Superstars Championship kind of kind of with the same theme or idea as um, the 24-7 or the hardcore that anybody can win and hold it basically is the idea behind it so, yeah, I went ahead with the uh, WWE Superstars Championship. I actually really liked it. It's a lot better than the first title I did, which was... I kind of did it similar to... Uh, designed it like a hardcore title, except now, obviously, you can see my skills have gotten better in making titles than... Uh, like in 2K20 with the Shimmer Championship and stuff like that. So, yeah. The WWE Superstars Championship. I really liked it, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I am The Miz, and this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, 
to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part, other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are. The whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas, I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ, I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in ladder matches. And with that being said, that I wanted it to be kind of like a 24-7 title. That's where I came up with the idea to change the uh, the material. Material or finish? No, it's be more material. Um, of the title to steal, bumped, or damaged, something like that. So, actually, wait. Is there material that's damaged leather? I know there's regular leather, which is, I... I thought about that at one point, but I don't know what I was thinking more of that was toward, a la like, the latter perspective of it. I don't know. But, uh, added a bonus, I'm super good at ladder matches, and, uh, for the sake of the Let's Play, ladder matches are a lot easier to, <laughs> to do. <laughs> Just watching that in fast motion is really funny. See you guys on bet. You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title.
Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm gonna show you what it's like to live in the real world. I'm glad you two are finally going to face off one-on-one. -on -one. That's right, Maurice, Elias, and the Mistraj will be banned for Brigside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations, which means it will be a ladder match. But, uh, yeah. Ladder matches are super easy for the sake of a let's play. I did not intend for that to be a thing. It's just, it happened, and that's why all the ladder matches in this chapter are, like, well, in real time, they're probably, like, close to maybe five minutes long. The clips are, anyway. But now they're, like, two and a half. So... <laughs> Again, an unintentional added bonus, and I'm all for it. But I decided that uh, I'd extend this match a little bit just by playing with Miz a little bit. And then grab for the title. Now, I'm not 100% sure, um, like, how it happens, but, like, you'll see at the end that you can keep one of the titles, and you'll see what I ended up picking, but I don't know what the alternative ending is if you pick the other title. So, should be interesting to see, because I don't know, because I picked the same ending. So, otherwise, that's going to be it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay in tune with the rest of this Let's Play, as well as any other future content. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. You did it! You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. But thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. Hey, Sasha. You mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. You know. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. <laughs>